Peace to the family. About to get in there. Let y'all roll in. We about to get in. Guys are ready. Pin the info to the top. How you guys doing? We got another day and change before Sunday's class. That's right. If you didn't get Sunday's class, when you buy it for ninety nine dollars, you will have access to the previous classes. You will have the video links, the PDFs, and there's a bunch of other links that you got to have because you got to set up different types of accounts. Okay, you got to set up the Lean Hub account. You got to do all sorts of different things. Seed Invest. You got a bunch of different things you got to lock into because that's the way the course works. It's a multifaceted course. It's an entrepreneur course, basically. It's multifaceted. You're not going to just go there and get your stock information. I want to make sure that you have a concept of where you may want to go in light of making that money. If you go to my Instagram stories, you'll see me constantly reposting the results, the testimonials from my good brothers and sisters. A lot of money was made this week on the market. Don't be shy to share your posts and let me know what you're doing. Let the people know what you're doing. I just posted another brother's success story. He made over $3,100 plus dollars this week. And he posted his earnings and his gains and what the account was prior. He actually put up the whole screenshot and his name there. Good brother, good brother. You go to my Instagram story, you'll see it. Every day I've been posting what my students been making. <clears throat> I posted the hundreds first. Okay. I posted the hundreds first. Just to warm us up. I made 100 here. I made 120, 117, 300, 500, 800. Now I'm posting the thousands. When I first did it uh, three weeks ago, I was posting the 10,000 ones and the 13,000 and the 20,000. But you know, some people get intimidated. So I want people to know, yes, you can make it in the hundreds. But the goal is, you gotta keep in mind, as people are walking with me in the process of me teaching how to do this, they're reallocating their funds, compounding interest, and reinvesting. This is what they're doing. Okay, so don't think because you see somebody in the thousands, it started off like that. Some of these people started off with just $100. And they have the patience to earn because they're practicing the BPB10 system. Okay, so keep that in mind. <clears throat> yes, so class is at IamBrotherPolite.at. If you're looking for the credit restoration microwave, that's $3,000. That's when we remove all the negative items off your report, add positive items to your report, boost your credit score, and see to it that you get approved for larger lines of credit. You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name and your phone number. Never leave an email without leaving your phone number. You leave your full name and your phone number. That's for the email for people that want the master course or the credit restoration microwave. That's when we knock out everything and then create an opportunity for you to get six figures, one-tenth of a million through revolving line of credit. And a lot of times people be like, that's not real. How can you do that? Well, if you raise someone's transunion sparing Equifax by the fault, raising their wealth score quotient, advantage score, and FICO score, you, you reconcile what needs to be uh, fixed as far as check systems or LexisNexis. There's no reason why you don't get approved for larger lines of credit, whether it be your credit cards, to 
personal loans and or business loans. The combination of those things is always going to bring you one tenth of a million dollars at your disposal. Believe me, you want to get that money in this type of market. That's just one strategy. So taking the $99 course is one because it's several classes in one. And anybody that's taking my class will tell you that I am meticulous. In fact, this Saturday, this Sunday class that I'm doing, 6 p.m. this Sunday, is an extra class. Just because I've, I wanted to make time out my schedule because I'm enjoying the returns that people are getting. I'm enjoying the returns that the people are getting. I'm enjoying the post. It actually got me more motivated than normal. I haven't been this motivated in a long time. And I'm, I'm traditionally, I motivate myself. But I cannot fib to you. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you that I'm that much more engaged, that much more motivated, that much more inspired because seeing the impact I have on individuals as they keep posting the money that they made. I mean, people are excited and I haven't seen that in the community. You know, people always want to complain, gossip, moan, groan, dry snitch. People want to do all of that. But I've never seen personally with my own eyes someone teach in the community and after they teach, within the first two weeks of that class being taught and everybody's on the same page. I've never seen that much people repost results like that in such a short period of time. Because with the stock market, it could go down like that. You know, it's not like one of those long-term investments. Okay, this person landed in two months, this person landed in six months, this person landed in a year, this person. You know, it's not as random. Normally when some money is made, everybody made money. If we all kind of employing the same strategy. If we all kind of employing the same strategy, it goes down like that. <clears throat> okay. Let's get it in. <clears throat> yes. So it's been great. And I want to let everyone know, aside from class being this Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, looking forward to seeing you guys. I am Brother Polite. Dot app. I am Brother Polite. Dot app. That's right. P O L I G H T. You know, it's weird. You're saying you're taking the class, but you got questions. Why don't you ask your question here? The time you wrote that, you could have asked your question. I literally do these streams so when people have questions, I can just add as much information as possible to the experience. That's why I actually do these. And when I'm on Instagram, I even pull you up if I can and engage you one-on-one -on -one so you can just shoot and ask as many questions as you want. And that empowers other people as well. Yeah, I can't wait to Sunday's class too. Lois Jones, I feel in the same way. I'm taking the class and I'm enjoying it. Lots of great info. Jera Fortune Boy. Thank you, man. Thank you. The books are back tomorrow, people. <clears throat> not next week, not two weeks from now. The books are back tomorrow. Okay, with the solicitation. That's good enough. You did it. You did it. You did it enough. I need to be able to see the images of people asking questions. Okay, how do you know when to sell the stock? That's the type of loaded question. <laughs> it's not loaded, but that's the type of question when I say take the class. That's just, you know, take the class to get to that point. <clears throat> Let's go Sunday, I'm ready, Basil. That's what I'm talking about. I agree. I love your class. You are awesome. Thank you, Renee. Appreciate it. I love the good reviews. Keep them coming. You believe in option trading? Believe. Come on, stop that. The name of my class, the second session of my course, is called We Have Options. It's a double entendre. Can't wait. Going to study my PDF tomorrow. Tasha, Tisha. Thanks, Tisha. A lot of sisters is getting that bread, huh? That's what's up. 
just purchased the course, I'm ready. I don't want to mess up your name. Majid A. Refer, Refer. I love it. I'm reading the comments. It's a series of classes. That that you miss, you'll get. That what you miss, you'll get. And when you get ready, you get ready. Easy $200, no strategy. Thanks, Brother P. <clears throat> you welcome. Let me get the name. Let me get your name. Derek Thomas, you welcome, brother. You're not limited to the UK because I'm about to take this thing to the international level so you can know you can internationally trade. But, you know, we get charged over here to trade over there, vice versa. So we're working our way there. When I teach, this is this is worldwide. I don't play games. I want to make sure nobody's left out. The class is lit. Thank you. Thank you, Ty. Yeah. I appreciate all the good words. I'm going to get a different top because you see that. What do you mean different top? Look at the... What do you mean by top? The, the first page. Oh, like it got to be cleaned up? Yeah. So, okay. Okay, yeah. cool. Leave it? I mean, we could tell somebody, but we got yeah. we ain't got no time. Huh. Who's going to fix it? How is that going to get fixed? I'll figure it out. <coughs> Let's just get the job done. Yeah. You can't purchase the class. You take all the free notes you can get from the hundreds of free classes I put up. You got it? By now, you should have been able to make money. I'm not, I'm not knocking you, per se. But if you've been walking with me for as long as many people have, they done found some way to make some bread. Okay? They done found some way to make the bread now. To do something. Because I'm going to tell you this. I put a, the reason why I put up a bunch of the hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred dollar, hundred dollar posts. I just made a hundred. I just made one seventy. I just made one twenty. It's just easiest one hundred I ever made. Reason why I posted those things was just to show people they got their money right back. They paid for the course and they got their money right back. This week was a stellar week. Everybody knows, and I said, beware the dead cat bounce. Don't play yourself. I said, don't play yourself. Yeah, the graphic designer could deal with it when the time comes. Beware the dead cat bounce. Bro, why don't you ever debate a real biblical scholar? I don't even want to be part of that conversation right now. It's never a real person. Every time I terrorize somebody, y'all say, that's not the real Muslim. That's not the real Christian. That's not the real Jew. I'm not concerned with that. It's always an excuse. And that's what this is about. No more excuses. No more the reason why you're struggling is because somebody didn't let you in. No more the white man is on our back, so that's why we're having the issue. No more with that. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Thank you for the lean info. Who said that? Thank you for the lean info. I like this. Where you at? Thank you for the lean info in the last class. That was dope. Donald Raven, appreciate it. $100 post, you think you missed it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know how you missed it. If you're, not, if you're on Instagram, I saturate my damn Instagram with a whole bunch of testimonials. So you must not be on Instagram. I hope, that wasn't, I hope you wasn't trying to be facetious. I hope you wasn't being facetious. You purchased, but your email address was wrong. Text admin at I am brother polite dot app and let them know. <clears throat> yeah, come on, no more excuses, family. That's right, you haven't started training just yet, you're waiting on the next class. That's good. Be patient. And also don't jump too far in front of me. Because some of y'all are going to get shut down for pattern trading because you're not realizing the name of the game when it comes to day trading. So we got we to gotta have that strategy laid out, which this Sunday, we're going to break down the strategy so you're not locked up for, for pattern trading, not locked up like physically going to get arrested. Let me use better words because I know we get scary. 
but we don't want you to get hemmed up for pattern trading and then your account is froze for X amount of time. Now you got to look out the glass window and see stuff popping and you can't do nothing. Oh yeah. Those books are all coming out again. We're, we're releasing 16 books tomorrow. Every week, you're going to see another 16 to 20 books, all written by myself. Some of you know, some of you don't know. And we got new books being released. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Check your phone. I'm on my phone. I'm live. Oh, I saw the computer. Daniel's asking what you need. He texts me. Paper terrorism. That's the one that you, that's the only thing. That's what I need right now. You can tell him I'm live. So, I'm a little distracted. I probably do need something. It's just not in mind. <laughs> and the individual images of the books will help. The books that's just by themselves. You heard? The individual books without my profile. The images of the books without my profile. Those first 17. <clears throat> but definitely let them know we're missing paper terrorism. Yes, but I'm back. And yeah, the books are coming out tomorrow. Blessed to have them, but you guys need to understand. You know what? This was a dope live. I just kind of want to end it like this and then really talk about what I was supposed to talk about. <clears throat> I want to start it back up. I love the comments here. I just want to save this live just like this with these beautiful comments. I'm, I love the support. And you know why I love the support? Because quite often, negativity spreads so fast. And then all this good news right here in the comment section, all this good news. People ain't going to go out their way and say, oh my goodness, there's a brother in the community and people are making money and they're reposting the fact they're making money and they love the class. They, they, they say it's worth every dollar and more and people made their money back from the class. This is the class that paid for itself literally and then more. People don't turn around and say, hey, my name is such and such and I just like to say, I've had an amazing class. I've learned some, you know, y'all got to start doing that more. Y'all got to do that. You know why? Because the negative people are running amok. <laughs> I'm not mad at any of you for having your experience and just living your life. That's the way the world should be. But we have to now start combating these negative people. Because it's so negative, they have us believing that the world is really that negative. And there's some negative stuff going on in the world, but where's the positive stories? We can't make no more excuses, people. We can't make no more excuses. Let's not make no excuses. I know we like talks of being oppressed and being enslaved and wanting reparations. I'm down with self-administering reparations. And shit, we ain't got to have the money in the community per se. We can make it right now. We're in a day and time where more millionaires will be born or birthed in this era than any other time. When you compound interest considering the technological era that we're in, there's no excuse for us failing. There's no excuse for us dragging our foot. There's no excuse for us struggling right now. I promise you that. There's no excuse for that. I can't accept it. And that's why anyone that's in my class, I commission them to be great. I let you know in a heartbeat, you must be an idiot if you come out of this coronavirus with less substance, less resources, compromise financially. Something's not right. I don't teach for you to just be able to share verbally what has been expressed by me. I teach so you can make the information applicable. If I show you the image and I say, look, this is, when you click this, it says trade and, and calendar. You click that and then you go over there and you see core. Click this over here and you make it recurrent. Click this over here. There's options and margin. Okay, they want to know if you're a credit investor or non-accredited investor. Yo, listen. I'm not doing all of that, showing you stuff step by step in the course. I'm not showing you things step by step in the course so you could sit on your hands. Be like, oh, you too aggressive. Yo, I have to be. I have to be aggressive. It's love. It's aggressive love. It's not aggressive hate. I have to be aggressive 
because too many of our years have been stolen from us. <clears throat> we spent a lot of years being misinformed under the impression that we needed that information only to end up in $80,000 student loan debt, $60,000 student loan debt, over $100,000 student loan debt, and laid off right now today. Degrees in our possession, still making less than 40 grand a damn year, 50 grand a year. What the hell is that? What is that? Well, you see, my students made three G's side of a week, side of two weeks, 12 grand side of two weeks from the time they start the course to now three weeks. Yo, quickest hundred I ever made. It's a start. You keep doing that over and over. It's going to be a thousand. Then you have a thousand to fish with. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't play. I can't play. I'm not about to play games. I, when, when Sunday class is over, I expect everybody to be posting and sharing my name there. So that way I can see that you out there and I see what you're doing. Then I'll be DMing you and, and yo, make sure you do this. So, you know, that I, yo, I connect with as many people as possible. And those of you that's in the world of Instagram, you guys know if you post something up there or you like, look, I'm studying right now. I'll be looking on the screen. What is that you studying? Yo, you good? How you feeling about it? A lot of you know I respond to you. I personally respond to you because I want you to win. Because I did the course so we don't have a bunch of our people displaced. Because after the six months forbearance, where you don't got to pay your rent or your mortgage, they going to want that money back. And after you've indulged in the tax credit, they not necessarily want their money back. You're going to want your money back. Because they they giving you a tax credit, which means in the future, that's where that came from. So in the future, nothing will be there. So you won't be able to rely on that. On top of the fact somebody got a six-month-old, three-month-old bill on your head and your job ain't taking you back or they're paying you lesser, minimum wage changes. This is going to impact people for over two years forward. The black community will be impacted the most. We have to have a contingency plan. We can't just sit here constantly talking about who is out here to affect us in the wrong way? Who out here is not for us? We can't keep having that conversation. It's disrespectful to our intelligence. So yes, I do my debates and I have fun, but look, I shut it all down. Because I got to focus on what we're doing over here. I get calls all the time. Yo, debate this one. Oh, you scared? Yo, you need it. I'm like, yo, I hear you, brother, but you know, <clears throat> this money got to get made. Yo, listen. I ain't going to go all the way in. And, and tease you, but this is the damn money counter. And to buy this, because this economy we're in, I need to make sure I got one of these in every home that my wife's in. Per wife, per house, per money machine. <clears throat> I ain't playing around. This ain't no damn game. This is count hundreds. This ain't count no ones. This ain't no strip club shit. I don't play no games. I don't play no damn games. I turn this down on right now and start counting. I start counting and, and, and conduct a 10-minute conversation while I'm counting. Going to do it one of these days when I'm just really feeling that way. I'm just waiting for another great week like this. You're going to see me do it. You're going to see me do it. And the thing is, I got proof that I bought that stock, American Airlines, at $9.93, and I bought over 1000 And cashed out at thirteen forty. That was nice. <clears throat> and immunomedics. I told you guys about immunomedics a month and a half ago when it was nine dollars. Today is thirty dollars. Nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, and three more dollars left. Whoa! Three and a third times that money. I told you when it was nine bucks on Facebook, on Instagram, and I think somebody republished it to YouTube. It was nine dollars when I said Immunomedics. That's a pharmaceutical company I got my eye on it. At thirty dollars, mark my words, I still got my eye on it. I'm still on it. I'm still invested. I believe we can only go up from here. <clears throat> I believe it's going to be another transition dramatically where it goes up. That's just how I feel about it.
that nine dollars to thirty in a month and a half. I'm just wondering what it might be another month and a half from now. Immunomedics is real. XRP, when it was 17, 18 cents. Yeah, I'm on here. I'm on Facebook talking about that. It's up 22 cents. But 21, like, that means nothing to a lot of people. But what that means to me is that you're starting to escape that 100 for 500 shares reality. Where if you put 200 there, you own 1,000 shares. And if we get one of those spikes, if we, want, if we end up, if we're nearing a cashless society and quantum computing, the Internet of Things, 5G rollout, then it's very likely with the central bank talking about we want Ripple. We want Ethereum. It's very likely that thing go over a thousand dollars a share. I'm in. I'm, I'm buying when it's in pennies. Why not? Shit, hundred or two hundred dollars. That's it. I may never look at it again. Let me put two hundred dollars there, and if I lost the two hundred, I lost the two hundred. People say loss. It's a lesson. Oh, if nothing happens with the two hundred, I've spent two hundred dollars worse many other ways. I've spent a hundred dollars worse many other ways. But if I'm right. That 1,000 shares from $200 times 1,000 equals 1 million. If I got a hunch that I may make a million dollars and it may cost me 200 to get it, I'm gonna spend the 200 every time. So in fact, I spent 200 on a few other things. And if I come up 50% shy of my goal, it's half a million dollars. And perhaps I've been right about at least two out of the ten things I put my money on. Because we do the BPB10. That's what we do. We do BPB10. That's the system. Watch me. And, and keep me recorded. Understand the date and the times that I say what I say. Because I always say this. And then when things skyrocket, I don't say, I don't take on the stance that I'm a prophet or anything. I don't do that. I deal with mathematics. And common sense and current events. That's it. I just deal with mathematics, common sense, and current events. I, I just, as a researcher, I just know where to go to do research and where to go to get credible sources because I've been doing the debates for so long and dealing with scholarship for so long that I was able to import that approach into this genre. And now I'm lit. Would you like a suggestion on something you can answer? A suggestion on what? On a question that you could answer. It's just for people that <clears throat> are outside of the U.S. If you have any other... I went to that already. People that's outside the U.S., okay. uh, you can invest in the international market. It just costs more. People in the U.S., we should be looking over there in London, too, to see what's going on. But it's going to cost you to trade. So generally, when you choose to trade internationally, you got to have... You, you got to be a seasoned vet. You feel what I'm saying? You got Fidelity International. You got all of that. You want to be a seasoned vet. And guess what? Airlines over there are great to invest in too. Because they're going through the same shit. Ain't nobody flying. So you got to know how to make the correspondence between what I'm saying. Cruise lines ain't going nowhere either. You got to find out the one that's popping, the staple, and then everything else that follows that staple. Hotel industries aren't allowed to do what they do. So this is what I'm this is why I'm telling y'all. This is about common sense. There's a great deal of common sense. The advanced metrics actually be throwing people off and making them make horrible decisions. You want to filter your sources for information. Otherwise, you have too much sources. And the, and all that plethora of sources that you you're extrapolating data from will have you too emotional and you'll be making Wild decisions because eventually all these sources start contradicting each other. Then you just get confused and you start guessing and you don't want to deal with nothing. So you got to pick real credible sources. That's what we're going to be doing this Sunday. Like what stuff is, uh, and what stuff is, yeah. <clears throat> but common sense in this game, no matter what people tell you, common sense is the number one factor. In this game, we're going to deal with PE ratio. I like PE ratio. 
you know, it's like uh, the market cap for real estate and then intrinsic and extrinsic value for stock market jargon is like fair market value and assessor value in real estate. The selling price for the, or the buying price for the property is like the strike price and stock market jargon. You know, uh, the purchase agreement can be likened to that of an option contract. The premium can be likened to that of the amount of money you have to put down as far as the earnest money deposit is in real estate. There's many correspondences. And so I take the opportunity and teach both real estate and stocks when I'm doing the course. Those of you that took that last class, y'all know what it is. And some people who had more of a real estate inclination was like, yo, I really got it. And I'm like, yo, fam, I didn't even go down the list of correspondences amongst a real estate transaction and a trade. Because I didn't want to go into overkill, but I did enough just so people could say, well, for some that are new to both, as far as being this technical, this is a great opportunity to run these themes concurrent so you can walk away with that much more information. That's the goal when it comes to teaching. When it comes to teaching, the goal is to see how much can I give you? How much can you walk away with that you can use? <clears throat> no, that's the goal. Yeah, you, so you take your time. You take your time. You relax. You go in bed with one stock at a time. You don't be a freak and sleep with everybody. You go in bed with one stock at a time. And you play with it. You play with it. So something come. You understand what I'm saying? Go in bed with one stock. And master it. Understand it. Know its behavior. Know the mood. Feels like this on Tuesday. Feels like that on Friday. Get in tune with it. How it opens. How it closes. Look at it over and over. You can read the numbers. But the experience is better. I can go on a relationship dating website. <clears throat> and pick up all the data from the profile. Sounds like somebody I want to be with. But we know once you experience it. It's a whole something different. Once you take someone out to dinner. It's a whole different vibe. Once you dance, your feet get stepped on. Once you sleep amongst each other, somebody's passing gas. Somebody's abusive. Somebody's loving. That's how it is. You don't really know the game until you put your money up there. And you play. And you play. Hold on, people. Play the game. You got to play the game. If I buy bad stocks, should I sell right away? You see, those questions got to really be thoroughly reviewed. Because I don't know what you mean by bad stock. I'm so serious about that. Because once I am invested, <clears throat> I don't even know how it could be bad. You got to keep your discipline. If you're looking... To sell at a certain point, you hold it until you can sell at that point. In this volatile market, that point is going to come. Unless you just randomly bought anything just because you just wanted to get in the game and say, I did it. <clears throat> but if you're walking with me, and this is why I repeat the same stock over and over and over again so we can exhaust the many opportunities that exist. My students have done options, put options, call options, long-term investments, and anticipating dividends. Yo, listen. Checking out the X dates, the call dates, the declaration. Like, my students playing around American. Some played with Royal Caribbean. The wise ones was walking with me from the beginning with Ethereum, with Immunomedics. Quite a few of them. Yes, when you thank you, Mike. 
<clears throat> when you purchase the course, I am Brother Polite app, you'll get the links to the previous classes and you wait in anticipation for Sunday. You'll have the PDFs, you'll have the links, and you warm up. <clears throat> the way that I teach, it's like a puzzle, right? But it's a weird type of puzzle because no matter where you start, you could piece it together. Right? And that's the case with any puzzle, right? But generally, the approach people have towards teaching is <clears throat> this is first, this is second, this is third. There's some things maybe like what's the stock, what's the share. Listen, you own a portion of a company, stock. The amount that you owe, share. That's it, done. Let's get out of here. We ain't got no time to play around. So you can you can start literally from class number two and work your way backwards to class one. And for some reason, it still makes sense. You can start from class one and work your way to class two. And somehow it just makes sense. Class three, I wouldn't suggest that, right? <clears throat> but you can learn from class three and feel what's going on. Get the vibe. You won't be lost. You'll just be like, yo, I need a little information. Hopefully, oh, yes, it was covered. Because class three, you will, I would say 74% of class three, or lesson 2B, 70%, 77, something like that. 77% of lesson 2B, which is this Sunday. You would be able to watch that for the first time. And, and work your way backwards and it still would make sense. In fact, it might be even better to watch it. That way and work your way backwards and then watch forward and work your way forward. You know, it might. Let me say it again. I don't even know how weird this shit sounds. It might be wise to actually watch class three first for the new people, which is lesson to be this Sunday and work your way backwards. And after you've done that, go forward. Because when you hear something, you feel like you missing something else to understand it, but it, it sticks in your head. It's etched in your brain. When you watch something in order from the beginning, there's not the same point of emphasis to remember something. <clears throat> if you watch the middle of a movie and it's a real good movie, your mind is like, I just got to go to the back to see what connects with this part because I, I can tell I'm missing something. But you remember everything. And then when you catch it, the connections, they're like, oh, whoa, wow. So when I designed the classes, I actually design it kind of like in the middle. And then I bring you back to the front. And then we start actually moving at a certain pace. So by lesson three, when that's over, there's a pace. And then I don't have to worry about who knows what. Because I have to create the class for different levels of people that have absolutely no information about it. Neophyte, novice, <laughs> basic, semi-pro. I'm, I'm thinking about all those people. And it's, it's an art. You know, just like someone does graphic and design, it's an art. So for me, teaching is an art. And I have find a way to be the most effective so people can walk away from the experience without struggling to remember. <clears throat> so I give you the notes. Instead of just giving you videos, I got the PowerPoint there. I'm taking the notes for you. And I know if I teach a certain way, certain things will stick in your mind and you'll crave the knowledge that you really need to know. And then when you come across it, it'll be like, oh, I needed that. And that's what I mean by if you watch class three first, you're going to learn. And something's going to happen where you say, I got it. I, I just know if I catch, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but if I see it, I'm going to know it connects with this. But when you watch it from the beginning, normally when you study something from the beginning, that doesn't happen. You watch a movie in the middle and it's a great movie. You remember everything for two reasons. You remember everything you watched because it was real good. And you remember everything you watch because you know you're missing something. You can't wait to start from the beginning so you can start connecting dots. That's the strategy I use when I study. 
I oftentimes when I buy a book to read, I start halfway through and I read forward. And then I start from the beginning. <laughs> Don't teach it to go crazy. But it's just something about knowing that I'm missing that part. And then guess what? I get the sense of completion because part of right, reading a book, the psychology behind it is uh, I didn't finish the book. So I read halfway through the book and end it. And I got this feeling like I'm missing something, but I, I, I did enjoy this book and I could see where they're going. But damn, what did I miss if it's this good? And I go to the beginning and now I'm able to connect. But where's the connection if you start from the beginning? It's not the same. <clears throat> That's just me. It's just me. I don't, I don't like to really start from the beginning. So even when I design my lessons, my lessons are kind of like where I would be if I was in the middle. And then I start working my way towards the end. And just before I'm at the end, because I know this information is just a little different. I can't play the same game for but so long before it's like, yo, he, he just took off. Then I bring it back to the beginning. And it's just a clever way because your brain is going to want to make connections. It's going to force connections. It's going to be easier to remember what's going on. And it's going to make you want to make things applicable. You just might, I'm just missing two or three things. So that's when people be like, yo, polite, what do I do next? I'm like, I know, I know. You're just missing two or three things. I know. I know exactly what you're talking about. It was designed that way for you to feel it. Because now when you see it, you're going to have that epiphany. When you see it, your one neuron is going to fire off to the other side of your brain and create a dendrite. And so your brain closer together, you're that much closer to being a genius. That's how this thing works. So the goal is to create that, that stimulus of hunger for you and then feed it after a little lay time, layover. Word. Right. But it's about strategy, man. Strategy. You got to play these games with yourself when you learn it. You got to keep, keep yourself going. That's what keeps you awake instead of falling asleep. Like, damn, I'm learning so much new information. My brain's shutting down. You got to find a way to keep this thing entertaining. Keep yourself engaged. You got to do these things. <clears throat> Start from the middle exactly where there's so many middle pages. And then there we go. It's just getting too deep. Just open the damn book. You know it ain't the beginning. That's what I'm saying. Just open the damn book. You want to be technical and find the middle? Find out how much pages is in the book. You should be able to find the middle from the halfway point. <clears throat> Case closed. I don't really stress myself. I open up the book and I start looking at something that I find interesting somewhere in the middle. And then, oh, there you go. That, I start reading. It, it captures my attention. I have to finish the book from that point forward. And there's no way... I'm going to finish that book knowing I dug in the middle of the damn book, three quarters in, halfway there, a little before halfway. No way I'm going to do that and don't read the beginning. But now it gives me a different motivation because I just I, I want to connect everything that I just read. When you start from the beginning, you don't want to connect everything you just read. When you start from the beginning, you want to get the, the intensity up. You want to finally get excited. So when you start reading... There's a different expectation. If you read from the middle to the end, the expectation level is higher when you're starting from the book for the first time because you've already done the middle to the end and you're like, yo, I'm satisfied. What the hell did I miss? When you start, you're looking to become satisfied. When you start from the middle, something already satisfied your desire and that's what made you start the path. Because you randomly was going through it. Oh, this is something I wanted to look at. And you keep going. <clears throat> this is a course for somebody who really take reading serious. And you just enjoy it. You just enjoy the information. Like, that's what that's for. You know, I'm not on the clock per se. But I do need to do this in an efficient manner. Because I got other responsibilities. Like, read other books. And keep studying. So, it's just what I do. That's, that's you know, sometimes people ask me, like, how you study? I, I study. I'm... You know, they probably would label me something not good. <laughs> the way I study, like, the dude reads the book from the, from the middle to the end first and then starts from the beginning. Yeah, it's more exciting that way. I'm going to keep my brain stimulated. I want to I have purpose when I'm reading. 
First purpose is to find something I like. That's in the middle of the book somewhere. Second purpose is to make connections. Well, that's going to happen by default because I want to know what the hell I miss because a lot of this stuff is dope, but I just feel like I miss something. But it makes you remember what you read just so you can find out what connects with it. I think it's ingenious. <clears throat> Somebody could think it's retarded. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, a lot of people tell me crazy stuff about the way I read. It happens. But I know one thing. I'm doing great in life, so it works for me. If it don't work for you, you read from page one. A lot of times I, I blank out the numbers on my pages because I don't like to see the numbers on my pages because it makes me feel like I'm reading to get to the end for superficial reasons. I'm not reading for the information. I'm reading to finally get to page 100. I'm reading to finally get to page 200. I'm reading to finally get to page 300. I don't like that. So sometimes I'll get a book. Most times. <clears throat> You'll see. All the numbers is blacked out. I don't want to read and know I'm on page 20-something. And... I don't want to really mark up the book a certain way to know where's the next page I got to come back. I want to remember what page I was on. I don't want a bookmarker. I would like to remember what page I'm on. Or start reading from a certain point until it starts making sense again. This is the way I get to study without taking all those notes. <clears throat> Man. So yeah, I don't, I don't like looking at page numbers. I don't like reading from the very beginning of the book. I read halfway through towards the end and then I start from the beginning. So I'm always a half book in something and a half. If I read the book once, I read it one and a half times. Because <laughs> I don't stop at the halfway point when I read it from the beginning. When I start from the beginning, I read the whole thing again. I, I read the whole book and that half again, basically. So I'm always a half towards the completion of the book, whether it be one and a half, two and a half, three and a half. <clears throat> Thanks, Lois Jones. She says, like Lean Hub, it's awesome. Thank you. Layla Marie, I don't know what the message is. I look for it. Send a new message. Where, where did you send the message, uh, Layla Marie? Is that from Instagram or is that from Facebook? I'll check both. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> can we talk stocks? Yes, we can. Don't give out all the secrets, P. L. O. L. Yeah, yeah, I know. We gotta leave, leave the religious stuff alone for a second. Yeah, that's right, Lois. Invest how much bread you want to invest. I'm about to buy mad houses because of your course. <laughs> that's what's up, Donald. These comments have been the best. The reposts you guys have been doing have been the best. <clears throat> yes, you should join if you're from UK. You're going to love it. ALs. Yeah. Thank you, Octavia Taylor. I appreciate that. She said you are appreciated. <clears throat> it's all good, Justin. I'm not sure what you're saying my bad for, but you good. Fidelity. Use fidelity. Thank you, Terry Joe. I see you. Thank you. Where do you purchase the course? Alicia Peterson. Right there, I got it tagged. I got it pinned to the top. Thank you, Polite Download. Okay. I think people want him to spoon who you he can't that take the concept and start your own research. That's that that's cool. Yep, that makes sense. Leonard Nelson, then what you need to do is go to admin a d m i n at i am brother polite dot app send an email there i just don't understand how that could be send that email there i'm 
going to make a commercial for your course. It's going to be me walking out my job. I hear that. Who wrote that? <laughs> Donald Raven. I hear that. I am Brother Polite. App. That's where class is. You go over there. Go to the website. It's not an app. It's the website to the app for when the apps finally get released. It's a lot of stuff going on. A lot is in the making. You go to I am Brother Polite. App. I am Brother. P-O-L-I-G-H-T. The light as a light bulb. I am Brother Polite. App. Go to the website and then you'll be able to purchase the Gold in the Crisis class right there. And also make sure you register. <clears throat> that's free. Register for the site so you can get updates because when the app comes out, that's when you're going to get a whole bunch of free PowerPoints from me doing the classes that I do on social media, uh, exclusive classes just random like just more concentrated like i do the free classes here right but more concentrated like straight to the point slides and then you get the free slides too with it and i'll be doing that on the app because it's not cool having a quarter million people follow you and then only two three thousand people watch it at that moment it's not cool <clears throat> so i want to be in my own world where everybody that's walking with me, I can teach immediately, effective immediately. I don't got to pay to contact the quarter million people whose attention I've earned. Now I got to pay someone else just to send you a message so you could probably line up and connect. I don't like all of that. Yeah, if you're talking about your credit report. <clears throat> you know, I'm on daddy duty, right? I'm out here teaching y'all. But I gotta see if my daughter's sleeping and if she got if she woke up. <laughs> got the pillows there and all. <clears throat> and if you see me keep looking back, that's because I'm just making sure, baby girl, is good. I actually just have it right in front of me. So the second I see some movement to my peripheral, I could run up over there. Yeah, it's definitely our world. Lois, you ain't you ain't lying. You ain't never lie. Claude Thompson, you welcome. <clears throat> Drop the one hundred dollars on Brother Polite. I've had two trading classes. Coach P makes it stick. <clears throat> Thanks, Derek Thomas. Thanks. Eat both. <clears throat> the course is Sunday, 6 p.m. You remember me Sunday dreaming? What's that? Let me see. Yeah. Charles Brown, I appreciate you too. Is this live? Yes, this is actually live. <laughs> Thank you. We're moving on to a different stock, people. <clears throat> We're about to go to a different case study, but what I will tell you is, ain't nothing wrong with still dealing with AL, but let's go to a stock that's cheaper and play the same game. Let's let's continue to make well American made us some dollars. But let's make some pennies but spend less. So if American was costing us a few dollars to get, let's let's buy something that's a few pennies, like eighty nine cents. And let's make thirty, forty cents. You might like that a whole lot more. Cause what you spent ten dollars at a time, nine dollars at a time. You'll now spend 89 cents at a time. Let's play with that. Let's let's find some new stocks and let's play games this week, huh? <laughs> let's get everybody to start posting their games. Let's broaden our horizons. So you see, by the time you're done with the course, you're going to have an array of stocks that you deal with for different reasons. <laughs> let's do some options trading this week. Hmm. Covered calls. 
Hmm, what's a covered call? Let's play around this week. Who's feeling froggy? Who want to jump? Let's play a game of froggy. I feel like jumping. We made some money. When we make money, we feel froggy. That's how that go. We feel like jumping when we make that money. So I'm feeling a little froggy. I'm feeling like, let's play a game. And you see, this is why I, this is why I love the brothers and sisters that's in the class. We got a whole community. So cats be posting and DMing mad stuff. And I'd be like, yo, y'all be on it. Y'all be like, yo, Poe, I'm looking at this. Yo, Poe, I'm looking at that. And I'd be like, yo, send me the ticket symbol. What you talking about? I mean, man, what you talking about make a lot of sense, man. You got my mind. You got my ear. Let's, let's study it. Let's play with it for a little. Let's throw a little change and see how it behaves. So I love it. I keep the interactions going. I actually want to just create an Instagram page by itself where we just all can connect. We need to do that. That's, that's dope. Or maybe I finally create a dang Facebook group. Let's do that. But that group got to just all, we got to be about that bread. Because what we do on Instagram is dope. I like it how it is on Instagram. I like it how it is on Instagram. And then I, I do a live and then I y'all come in and y'all say, yo, this is how it's looking. This is how it's feeling. I put this money there. I'm feeling like that. I love that energy, man. Please do it because my family is not really on it. Like I got my own family, true, but I'm talking like. Before I had my wives and children, you know, you got your father, your sister, and everybody. And they're not really rocking. So you guys are like, you take the place of my friends that I grew up with and family members, like uncles and aunts and stuff, siblings that that's not on this type of time. You guys do that for me. You do that for me. And I love that. Got my hundred dollars already. Learned a lot of ways. Make a lot of hundreds work. <clears throat> but let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play a game this week. Who want to buy some options? And who who want to have a conversation about the options purchasing? See, it's time to level up now. Because if we want to play the game of American. I want to buy a real, I want to buy an unlikely option. I want to play and throw $300 or $200 out there for an unlikely option. Because I think it's likely. Because after they did that report for American Airlines and people see that they came in to this year in debt and ended up in more debt and it's talks. A bankruptcy? Yeah. I feel like putting my money on the stock going lower than nine dollars and eighty cents. That's what I and I believe that's gonna happen inside of I give it I give it a month. If they could give me a call option, what's today? The first? Yes. <clears throat> Let's see. First of what, April? April 1st? What, May? Damn, we in May. Okay, so June. Give me a June 1 put option. Pardon me, not a call. Give me a June 1st put option for $9. No, 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 not $9.80. Give me a June 1st put option for $12, $13. Yeah, I want to have, and what that means is, you're saying, why is the price higher if you believe it's going to get lower? Because if I'm right, I can sell it for that high price. So if the stock goes down to $9.80 or less, the $9.80 is the strike price. Anything lesser than $9.80, which would be $9.79, that's called the strike price. So anything that's lower than $9.80... I'm in the money, and then I can sell it for the amount of money that I put up for. So in other words, give me American Airlines at give me American Airlines at $14. I'll pay for the right 
to own 100 shares that sell for $14, provided it goes down to $9.80 lesser. So this means if it goes down to $9.60, that means I've earned the right to sell each share for $14 while it's $9.60. That's what a put option do for you. I got the right to sell. That's me selling a put. <clears throat> you know? Well, you have selling puts and you have selling put options, you have buying put options. And you have call options and you got cover calls, then you got leap options. There's a whole bunch of different options. We gotta go through this. This is real. This is really real. This is really real. But that's the thing. When you're done with put option, something could be $8 and you can say, yo, give me the put option for $15. I believe it's going to go down less than that eight. And so long as it does go lower than you say it's going to go, you can sell for that higher amount while the going rate is lower in the future. Yes, you can sell something for $15. Even though it's $8 a share, you can sell it for $15 a share. That's a contract. It has to be obeyed. You, you, there's an obligation there. That's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. Imagine you having the right to sell something for $50 a pop when it's only eight dollars a pop and no you still can sell it <laughs> imagine that imagine being in a position to sell something overpriced and know you made an agreement in the past to be able to do this in the future if you was right about something and no matter what it just got to sell no matter what it just has to sell Imagine that. Imagine having the right to sell something that is presently $6 for each one, but you have the right to sell it for $19 each one in the future. Just because you said it was going to be that low in or around. Doesn't matter if you got the exact number, right? So long as the shit went below the number that you said. The number you say is the strike price. So long, and when it's a put option and you plan on making money because something most likely will be lower in the future. So long as you are a penny right, you can sell it that much more higher despite the going rate in the present. Man, listen to me. I'm feeling froggy. I'm feeling froggy. <laughs> I'm ready to jump. Who gonna jump with me? So you know, I post my stuff. I don't play that. I have a good time. It's just fun because I'm using... The winnings. I'm using the winning money. I'm using the earnings. I'm not using principal and this is my light and my gas. I done made money already. Once you make the money from the market, you start playing Monopoly. When we play Monopoly, yo, give me three hotels on Baltic Avenue. Because you made money. When you made bank, you start rolling out hotels, buying houses. Oh shit, I got a get out of jail free car. Bitch, I'm going to commit a crime. I know when I do it, I'm going to get out of jail. I got the car. This is how we do that. So this is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling froggy. Are you feeling froggy? I see the image of the frog. Okay, Kia? Kia? I'm with that. I got one frog. Who, who else with me? <laughs> I, you know me. I buy that shit live. I've been doing pretty good. I told you about immunomedics at $9, and that thing is at... $30 a month and a half later, less than a month and a half. I told you about less than two months ago, I told you about Ethereum when it was at $90. And now it went as high as $220 about a day ago. All of this is recorded. That's 9, 18, 20, set. Oh, okay. 9, 18, over two times profit. Immunomedics. $9, 30, 9, 18, 20. That's three times in change profit. Three times in one third. Okay, so what are we saying here? I must know something. And never mind this week, 
with everybody posting, I made money, I made, I got my money back from the course and I made more. People was running laps with that damn money from American Airlines. People was running laps. Running laps. I promise you that. And what I'm going to do for the so-called people that missed it, I'm going to repost them tomorrow. I'm going to repost a bunch of people. Oh, I wanted, I got not one, but I got $1,000. I made 3000 I made 117 I made 120 I made, yo, this was a great week. It was a great week. And I, and I didn't even post everybody. So I got to dig through the DMs and see who else was sharing. Yeah, I, XRP. Mark this date. It's the first. Remember I said it. You're going to fuck around and let that shit hit a thousand. And you're going to know. Polite said during a time where if you were to put 200 up, you would have owned a thousand of those shares. And 1,000 times 1,000 is what? A million dollars? Yeah, that's a risk I have to take. I have to take a $200 risk that may potentially make me a million dollars? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, See, this is what investing is about. <laughs> investing isn't about if you lose. Investing is about when you finally win. It ain't like Lotto. It's probability because the reason why you're investing in these things is because of some major significant factors like the central bank saying, I'm interested in Ethereum and XRP. And suddenly the stocks start going up just from that. The bounce that we had, the dead cat bounce we had this, this week, I believe was attributed. We could accredit the bounce we had this week for the better good to the speculation of states opening up, Starbucks opening up most of their stores. There's some stimulus there. So just the conversation that things are gonna start looking better cause money to move around in the market. That's the psychology of it all. You could have put your money on almost anything prior to this week and you would have got some gains. But if you already was building like we was building, then the things we put our money in, like RCL and AAL, the things we put our money in, like Immunomedics, we definitely won. You know what I'm saying? We definitely won. United Airlines is just as good. Norwegian, Cruise Line. There's different things going on. Carnival, you would have made a lot of bread from Carnival. You know, I like the staples. But yeah, these are, these are great ones too. But this ain't no time to buy. Everything's going up. You take your time. Let's see if anything falls. Let's just feel the vibe. Word. XRP is man. Look at look at look at Kirby and Bryant talking about XRP is now being used by 300 banks. See, this ain't no game, man. This ain't no game. Y'all don't play games. This is the opportunity in the hour. Don't be like when Bitcoin was $35 now and suddenly boosted to 17000 damn dollars last year. It, it went from a couple bucks to $15,000 last, last year alone. Don't be in that space because that's how that crypto world is. It's still... And it's still a lot of speculation. And the speculation around crypto is so high. It's advantageous for the investor. Because even though a lot of people don't know what the hell it is. A lot of people feel like it's going to be next. When you got that kind of weird shit going on. That kind of combination. <laughs> I'll put the bread there. And I just watch and see what it do. Just, I, I don't mind losing a few 200 and 100 and... Yeah, I don't mind. Fifty dollars here, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars, ten dollars. My ten dollars is likely to make me a quarter million dollars, man. In or around a hundred thousand dollars. I'm okay. I'm a, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna spread it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the money out, and then the ones that I really have the strongest conviction in, I'm gonna throw two hundred on. Everything else, I'm gonna at least have ten dollars in that bitch because I just want to feel the impact of of my ten shares giving me uh, my ten dollars. Giving me 75 shares 
75 shares times whatever you know what i'm saying giving me a hell of amount of money like i just can't be left out i've been left out too many times because of a lack of information because of lack of education i will not be left out again i'm sorry i pass people i pass i'm willing to put as much money down the line because investing is not about what you lose it's about when you finally win because when you finally win if you make an, if you follow the bpb system the BPB-10 system, if you're following the BPB-10 system, you're going to come to terms with the fact that if you, all you got to do is win once and it paid for the spread. Just win once and it paid for the spread ridiculously. That's what we got to go over. See you in class Sunday. It's going to be great. I'm just out here building, just having a good time. Just having a good time. Peace, Barbara. Peace. Okay, send, send me an inbox, Patricia, and then I'll I send you the links and the information as well. But right here, you got I am Brother Polite that app. But you still send that there. BPB10, that's correct. That's what we on. Oh, it's all love. 6 p.m. on Sunday. And the classes that you miss, you're going to receive it. And even if you're going to be late for class Sunday, it's okay. Because you'll be able to review it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's going to be great. We're going to have a good time. I am Brother Polite. Dot app. Woo! I'll probably do one more uh, session before Sunday because I get excited before class because I'll be looking at the lesson plan and I'll be like, and I like to talk to the people in case there's something I need to incorporate in the session. So a lot of time I, I'll go live. I want to read questions. I want to go on Instagram. I want people to just join randomly so I can just talk with them and get it in. Yeah, I'll be doing classes on Instagram. Most time I finish with Instagram, I go straight to Facebook. Do it on IG this time. I want to. Tomorrow I'm gonna do it on IG. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna do both though. But tomorrow we're gonna to really just do Q and A with the general public on IG. I watched the videos like 10 times. John Q, you going hard. That's what's up. That's right, man. Congratulations to you, Bruce. Bruce Brandon. Congratulations. James Carter. Okay, that's what's up. BPB. Not BBB. It's BPB. 10. You don't have IG. Renee, you need to just get it just for this. Brother underscore polite. Get IG just for that. Made 1800 on one trade, P. That's what's up. Rico Lumpkin said he made $1,800 on one trade. We'll explain XRP this week for you so you can be locked in. Take your time. We'll explain it this week. Natasha, yeah, don't don't be hesitating. BPB10, that's right, John Q. Mitchell. The whole strategy and approach that we all doing in class is BPB10. It's going to reveal itself more and more as we keep going. It's a strategy. That's why so many people are coming out. <clears throat> Listen, let me tell you something. As much as people say... Stocks are risky. Stocks are risky. Yo, you don't. And much, as much as people saying that, think about the amount of credibility I must have earned or loaned to myself by being daring enough to be like, hey, guys, I'm in. Hey, guys, I'm out. Hey, guys, I'm in. Hey, dead cat bounce, y'all. Y'all know what that means. Let's get the fuck out of here. Or let's, let's shop. Imagine if it was that risky and that scary and this economy is so bad and so volatile this would be the worst time for me to teach a class like this because everybody would be like yo i'm losing my bread listen to this guy i'm losing my money listening to him just think about that but instead you see all these positive comments going up and down and you see all those posts of yo we made money because the way it works trust me everybody loses if everybody's listening to the same guy 
and everybody wins if everybody's listening to the same guy. That's how that works. I put my credibility on the line because I follow a BPB10 system. I ain't got no time to be losing. Even when we lose, damn it, we win. And that's why the stuff that we're going into this Sunday, we're going to start talking about how to hedge that bet. We're going to start talking about how to insure your investments. All I did was make money with you. Richard Lewis, thank you, brother. Thank you. All I did was make money with you. How about that? You need the CRM? You go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You list your full name and your email. That's what the CRM is. That's the $3,000 program where we remove negative items off your report, add positive items to your report, boost your credit score, boost your advantage FICO score, and in turn, we leverage that so you can get access to six figures. That is to say, one-tenth of a million dollars. It's not hard to get access to that. If you think about two credit cards, personal loan, and or business loan, it's not hard when your score levels up. Because I know people hear one-tenth of a million, but I say it like that because I need to know I'm nine-tenths away. That's why I say one-tenth of a million, because words are GPS to reality. So we remove all the debt. I don't give a damn if you over over $100,000 in debt. We remove that, and then we add value to you. The reason why that's so very important in this day and time, because the way this economy is looking, shit, if you got a good 10, 15 grand, you could throw somewhere. <sighs> Talking about millionaires being made during this era, man, if you could just get a hold of that type of bread in real time and start cooking, you good money. So that's why I teach all these things at the same time, almost at the same time. Next week, I'm going to go back into the credit and, and the nuances and start digging deep. Next week, I'll do that. I'm focused here because there's so many different turns of events for the market that I had to do this this way. But next week, we start really getting into it. And yeah, remember, the data is automated. So the second you purchase the course, you're going to get an email. Check your email. Because sometimes people say, I just purchased the course. And then they, they DM or they inbox or they text or they email. And I'm like, check your email. Because when you buy it, you automatically get everything that took place previous to the Sunday that's coming up right now. Doesn't matter. What about people that live in Guyana? I'm in a Guyanese house right now. My wife from Guyana. I'm Annette. GT. Damn. You ever go for the cub and think something in there? I still got something. Yeah, you good. You can set up a business infrastructure. Go international if you're trading. You can get you a broker. Or, or you can send to someone that's going to move or trade at your will and pleasure. Of your free will and accord. It's different ways. Hakeem, you know, XRP ain't no game. I, I like Stella Lumen too. Stella, Stella Newman is, is, is real good too. <laughs>